Hello, Rule Mithril here once again, and it's time for another Durgan one-off. So remember when I started this series and I played a couple of chess games right in a row? Yeah, let's get back to that. Welcome to the Ouroboros King. I actually got this game some time ago, but I've never really sat down with it and played it for a long time. I've poked at it here and there, but never really got too far into it, just never really had the time. But it looked interesting. From what I understand, this is basically kind of a chess roguelite in a way, in that you essentially play games of chess, you recruit pieces as you go, and a lot of those pieces are very bizarre, beyond what you would normally get in chess. So, let's see what we've got. Losing to the Coven brings suffering to my people. I can't stand seeing them like this. You can lower the difficulty from the main menu settings. Look, just because I haven't sat through a full game yet, it just means I don't have time. We'll see how tricky it gets, though. Okay, select a piece to recruit. Catapult. Move any number of squares vertically, jumping over other units, or up to two squares horizontally. Interesting. Reaper. Move like a king. Kill any enemy on a tile of the same color as it that is not a king or a witch. That sounds broken as heck. I feel like I have to go for that and try it out. And we just have a standard rook here. Move any number of squares vertically or horizontally. Upgrades to War Wagon. Wonder how one does upgrades. But yeah, that sounds interesting. And yeah, okay, so I can only pick one, just making sure. Relics. Ouroboros Sigil. At the start of each battle, get a rewind. Alarm Bell. The alarm rings whenever your king is in danger. The Finisher. If the enemy king or general is alone, and you have units other than him at the start of your turn, you win. If your king is in danger after you move, automatically spend three rewinds to go back in time. Okay, but I guess all of these are active, because I can't, like, just select one. Oh, okay, I get more. Marching Pawn. Move up to two squares forward or one square diagonally forward. Can only kill diagonally. If it gets the last row, it transforms into a queen for the rest of the combat. Upgrades to Quartermaster. Crusader. Move any number of squares diagonally forward or vertically backward. After killing an enemy, get 30 gold. Upgrades to Knight Templar. Okay. Prince. Move like a king. Your king can't be killed by other units while being three or less squares away vertically and horizontally from the prince. Okay, so it's sort of a bodyguard, I guess? This sounds good, though. Kind of a Y pattern, so it has a lot of range. So, yeah. Let's get you. Decoy. Moves by changing places with any ally. Can kill on one square diagonally. When killed, kill its killer. Interesting. Viking. Move up to two times horizontally or vertically. Not all moves have to be in the same direction. Upgrades to Berserker. And Standard Knight upgrades to Pegasus Rider. Eh, let's get a Viking in here. Okay. Training Grounds. Recruit new units for your army. Alright. Okay, so they have a king and a knight. Or, well, general. But it is essentially a king. Yeah, okay. Uh, so let's see, we've got some rocks here. Boulder blocks the movement of units through this square. Oh, okay, I see. It's not that if I land on a black square, it kills any enemy pieces that are also on black squares. It's that if I were so inclined, I could 
use the Reaper to just instantly go to where the knight is and kill it because I started on a black square. That makes more sense. <laughs> Alright. Ah, but here I have the same problem. I would get instantly taken out by the king. Uh, let's see here. Well, aren't you clever? <laughs> oh, right, I have to go vertically backwards. Hmm. Well, that's unfortunate. Okay. You do seem to have a desire for preservation of that knight. But I think you might be out of luck with it. There we go. Okay. So let's see. Select a piece to recruit. Fire chick. Moves like a king. When killed, it respawns on the bottom left corner if white. Top right corner if black. Upgrades to phoenix. Royal guard. Kills like a queen. Moves like a king. Hmm. So... Does that mean that normally it can only move one space, but if there's an enemy piece in a direct line with it, it can go all the way over there? That's what it seems like. Or I could get another Reaper, but this one looks like I have to pay for it. Eh, let's get a Royal Guard, see what that's about. Armory. Upgrade one of your units. Only units upgradable at the armory can be upgraded in this way. Hmm. I mean, my Viking and my Crusader can technically upgrade, but would the armory be where I need to do that? Or we can go to a training grounds or ruins. Discover relics that will grant you permanent bonuses. Ah. Uh... Let's see what the armory is all about. Okay, but I do have to get through a round of this. Fair enough. Alright. Uh, let's see here. Okay, yeah, that is what it was, because as long as the Rook was there, I could see that the Royal Guard did have a possibility of taking it out. Okay, gonna have to move that. Uh, let's see here.
Are we really going to play this game? Okay, yeah, time to get out of here. Hmm, how dare. That's unfortunate. If I move here, I'm at least kind of protecting this a little bit. But yeah, at this point, I can't actually move the Reaper. Otherwise, Rook gets the king. So yeah. But they are very protective of the Rook because as soon as that Rook is gone, they lose because their king will be by itself. Because I'd rather not sacrifice one of my pieces, because I have the nasty feeling that if I get rid of... Uh, if one of my pieces gets taken, I don't get it back at the end of the round. Let's see here. You're still technically guarded here. This puts you in check. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, you know what I'm trying to do. Here we can turn back time to save those troops. Okay, so yeah. Alright. I, I hit the point where it was tired of my shenanigans, basically. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that's a safe capture. Finally ran them out of places they could go. And so now we know how rewinds work. Select a piece to upgrade from the highlighted squares. Wait, I can upgrade the king? Upgrades to a mounted king. I'd like to see what the upgraded pieces do. Because, I mean, the thing is, I don't really feel like I want to put the king in danger if I can help it, so I feel like I'd want to upgrade the other pieces. Oh, okay, you do get to see. Move up to three times horizontally or vertically. Okay, that gives you a lot more range options. Move any number of squares diagonally or vertically without jumping over other units. After killing an enemy, get 30 gold. So, essentially, a queen that can't move horizontally. Not bad. Moves like a king or knight. If he gets killed, his army demoralizes. Okay, so yes, just same rules as a king, just more movement. Not bad. But I kind of feel like I want more movement on the Crusader.
Okay, so yeah, you can't go back. So our only option now is the ruins. Okay. So what do you got? Cardinal. Move like a bishop or a king. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, we can go ahead and get rid of the knight at the very least. This feels too easy and like I shouldn't be able to do it, but... Excuse me? That should have just flat out been checkmate, but, uh... They were allowed to take one of my pieces, and I didn't get to rewind that. Okay, interesting to know that's how that works. So I lost my royal guard. White flag. Your units can move vertically backward. So that just... adds more movement to all my pieces, I guess. Battle axe. Vikings and berserkers can move through boulders, bombs, and other units. Spiked shield, but I have to pay a lot for that that I don't have. But for reference's sake, the first time in a fight that one of your units is killed by a non-king or non-general unit, destroy the killing unit. Okay. Basically a, if, you're, if I'm going down, you're going with me button. Alright. I mean, I do have a viking. We'll go with that. My royal guard is still here. So, maybe that didn't count? Dragon is confused. <laughs> Alright. Shop. Purchase consumables with your hard-earned gold. Training grounds. Recruit new units. Let's try and get another unit. Okay. Pegasus Rider. Jump one square horizontally and two vertically, or vice versa, up to twice in the same direction. So, like, I guess if I'm looking at this right, it could go here, but then the next move would have to be here. Okay, you're already putting my royal guard in danger. That's not great. Okay, yeah, you already knew what I was trying to do there. Oh! My king's at risk. Mm. Unfortunate. Uh, I always underestimate normal knights. Pegasus riders are even worse. You know, you're just going to be a problem. I know this is a sacrifice play, but... Oh, right. You can't move horizontally. That's a problem. Uh, let's see here. Thank you. 
I'm honestly surprised they let me get away with that. <laughs> I didn't even pay attention to the fact that my Viking is in danger here. Of course, if I move the Viking, King gets taken out by the Cardinal. Yeah, that's a problem. Gonna need to keep the king a little bit busy here. I mean, technically, last time I did this, it turned out okay. Although, I don't have anything endangering the king from taking the royal guard, so that's not going to work, actually. Um... Let's see here. This... I think should be checkmate. And yet you get that extra move there. That is something I'm not a big fan of, that checkmate doesn't just instantly end the game. Okay, now we're done. Because, I mean, it does really just feel like checkmate, that should be it. it. That's how the normal game goes, anyway. Collect my reward? Oh, this is... Okay, this is just the reward screen, okay. Alright, so we've seen Prince... Princess... Move one square cardinally, or up to two diagonally. After killing a unit, it transforms into a queen for the rest of the combat, unless it killed a leper? Okay, so apparently that's a piece. Bannerman. Move like a king. Adjacent allies can move like queens. Assassin, blade dancer, and martyr can't kill using this ability. Alright. Oh! My Reaper is back. Okay. You actually do get pieces you lose back. That's nice to know. Okay. So that's how that works. Okay. We have confirmation on that now. I thought my Reaper was just doomed. Uh, let's get the princess. The capital lies ahead. I've been absent for, f uh, for too long. It's about time I reclaim the throne. Fight Adia the Witch Queen. All right. Wrecking Ball. Your units can destroy boulders. All right. Adia the Witch Queen. Move like a rook, bishop, or knight. Two bishops, both on white. Interesting. And, of course, the general. All right. Let's see here. Oh, 
Right, the other bishop. Forgot about that. Okay. So... Huh. Oh, I can't take out a witch, and that's the witch queen, so yeah. <laughs> I see. Okay, that makes things a bit trickier. Let's see, I could go ahead and take out one of the bishops. Or I could put the king in check. Go ahead and do that. What I really want is to force the Witch Queen to move again. Okay. So that I can get rid of you. Oh right, you can move like a knight. Whoops. <laughs> Learning process. Yeah, a day is going to be a problem. <laughs> That's really all there is to it. I mean, you can if you want. I wouldn't recommend it. But hey, you do you. I probably had that coming. Uh, let's see here. If I move you here... I'm making some bad plays here, for sure. <laughs> oh, man. Although, I can do that and get rid of you. And yeah, technically. I know I get all my pieces back. Defeat Adia. Okay, so yeah. So it does continue on. I don't know how long a, a normal run actually goes, so I don't know how much longer I actually want to keep the run going. Let's see. Because I was pretty sure it wasn't just going to be the one map. Well, we'll see. Musketeer. Move any number of squares vertically or one square diagonally. After killing a unit, go back to its original position. Okay, that's got nasty. Portal gate. Units entering the portal gate exit through the other gate in the same direction they were moving. Interesting. I could go ahead and take out any of these pieces. Because, yeah, these things, they're gonna be a problem. 
So I may have to do a sacrifice play to begin this. Let's get rid of you. I guess you're wanting to be cautious. You don't want to immediately lose this musketeer. Though, if I'm understanding it correctly, if you killed the princess, you would have immediately moved back, so... I don't know unless there's something I'm missing to the musketeer. No? Hmm. Okay, you can move backwards. That's an important thing I needed to know. Hmm. Yeah, you need to go. You're just that much of a problem. Slowly, slowly, trying to corner everybody. Let's see here. Not how I was expecting that move to go, but okay. <laughs> Welcome to the shop. What would you like to buy? Bishop in a bottle. All your moves this turn are bishop moves regardless of the unit moved. So two uses of it for 291 gold. Sand Hourglass. Restart the combat. Army starting positions and terrain may differ from the last combat. So, if something goes really, really pear-shaped. Teleporter. Swap the position of two of your units past your turn. Hmm. Strategically, that could be useful. Oh, it's 226 gold for one use. I see. You don't get both uses shown, it's just you can buy it twice. Good to know, good to know. Let's get more pieces. Okay. Got that cardinal again. Princess... Berserker. Okay, so yeah, we saw that when we had the chance to upgrade our Viking for it. Mm, let's see here. Knowing that I get him back at the start of every round, the Reaper just feels like a good thing to have around as a, okay, what on this board is going to cause me the most trouble? In this case, Cardinal needs to go. Ooh, although... Mm. Wrong. Princess needs to go, because if I take either of the other pieces with the Reaper, Princess takes the Reaper and becomes a queen. That ain't happening. No. <laughs> so that's out. Okay, the Royal Guard could go ahead and take out the Cardinal. Wait, from this position, does that just flat out mean I win? Because... The Knight Templar is in a position to go ahead and take <laughs> whatever comes here. So yeah, I think that actually works. Because 
the kings alone now. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this. Okay, so that's a standard bishop. Upgrades to cardinal. Makes sense. Fool. Move with the same pattern as the last enemy to move. Everyone laughs until the fool starts killing noblemen. That's... interesting. We've seen musketeer, though. That's a pretty strong one. I have to pay 720 gold for it, but that seems worth it. Okay, more pieces, because it's just interesting to see what some of these new pieces are. Agent X. Okay, what can you do again? Okay, I'm not too worried about you at the moment. You are troublesome. Though not... Well, you'd immediately take out the princess. Move like a bishop, but then you basically become a rook. In and of itself, that could be a problem. Hmm. I wonder, though. Well, let's see what happens. Very bad things. That was not what I intended. <laughs> uh, yeah, having to learn the new pieces. Okay. Because, I mean, the thing is... Well, nothing can, aside from the king, can go ahead and take out the Reaper if I go ahead and make that move. I don't think they're going to really be too interested, because the Reaper can't kill the king. I don't think. Or, well, actually... It would still have the normal range, so... It just can't warp to take out the king, I think. So let's go ahead and do that. No, it just flat out can't. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Let's see here. Unfortunately, at this point, I think the Reaper is pretty much doomed anyway. I can move it here, but there's not a whole lot that I can do from there. Therein lies the problem. Okay, that's the only way that a Reaper can kill is through the warp. So since he's not on a black square, I can't take out that bishop. Good to know. Let's see. I'm not too worried about the musketeer at this point, because everything that's in a direct line of sight is gone. Let's lose the bishop. Yeah, you're going for it, aren't you? Okay, so I can go all the way up here with the teleporter. 
But you can't move horizontally. Right, right, right. Uh, hmm. Although... Let's see here. What is my best option at this point? Okay, you cannot skip over a... Or, or, no, that's right, you wouldn't be able to warp through. Okay, well you verify that I can't skip past the portal. But I can go here. <laughs> the various weird pieces are very interesting. I like this. This should be a safe move. But why though? I'm not really sure why they let me have that one, but okay. Immortal. Move like a king. The only units that can kill it are the king. It cannot kill the king. Interesting. Not sure how overall useful, though. I'm four gold short from me being able to buy another reaper. Honestly, let's get another Royal Guard. I think we'll finish this map, or at least try to, and then we'll call it. Okay. Agent Asterisk. Moves like a queen. After moving, it transforms into Agent L. Moves like a knight. I see. Okay. All right, it's a sacrifice play, but you need to go immediately. <sighs> View there. Okay, due to how you work, this is free real estate. Okay, so now you're a knight. After moving, it transforms back into Agent Asterisk. I see. Okay. I see how this works.
Okay, but since you're on a black square, wherever you move, it's going to be a white square, and I could take you out immediately is the thing. So... At the moment, I'm honestly not too worried about you. Put you there for now. Let's see here. Okay, no, you can go backwards. So that would not be a good play. Good to know. Because I just kind of have a lot of the enemy's pieces just sort of tied up right now. There's a lot of stalemating going on here. You can't capture to the side, though. Technically, your knight could go ahead and take the princess, but it would go ahead and get some things going. And you didn't actually do it. Okay. I'm a little puzzled by that one. But fine. I keep forgetting you don't just move into the portal, you have to actually pick the spot on the other side. Let's see here. I mean, I think this basically fixes things. You have no board space left for new units, you get 350 gold instead. Okay, so it's not like you have a rotating collection that you can pick something and then just have them in reserve. Good to know. Hmm. So is there just no point to landing on the training fields again once you have a total of eight pieces? Or is there a way to... Is there something that can make you permanently lose pieces or what? Not really sure. Tower of Trickery. Fight Tabitha the Deceptive. Watchtower with full vis uh, vision of the Marsh of Madness used by the Coven to control the supply chain from Thessalonia to their base... Okay, what's your deal? Move like any of the enemy units except the portal mage. <laughs> I mean... I'd be a fool not to. <laughs> uh... 
Uh, if you're just gonna give me that right from the get-go, why not? Uh, similarly... I mean, may as well. This is a bloodbath. <laughs> and now the king's alone. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't feel like that should have gone as smoothly as it did. <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah. So, that is the Ouroboros King. Uh, <laughs> I'm still really amused by placement on that one. Here she is, your biggest threat. Right in front of your gun. <laughs> That was special. <laughs> I don't think we're going to top that. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's an interesting game, and I, I'm sure there are a lot of pieces that we didn't even see in this, and I'm definitely interested and down to play more of this. Uh, if anybody is familiar with this game and knows, like, how long an average run actually is, that would be nice to know. That's the only reason I'm cutting this now, is because we've almost been going an hour here. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you again next time. Until then, don't put your queen in front of a gun. It's just a bad idea. <laughs>